So we're giving this a new go. Another video, another day. It's been a while. Um, Can only guess what we're creating today. Did you notice a new table? Not scuffed up, at least not yet. And if you look at that, three bowls. For what? Got your cocoa pillows. I think it was about two euros for this one. You got your K Market cocoa pillows. Sukulatunu. And of course, as always, we got our milk choco bits. Same thing. So, what we're gonna do here is taste a little bit of each. Figure out which one is the best tasting one. simple curiosity because I'm always curious about that. I mean you can see this one looks quite like what's on the uh, box. I don't have a lot of focus on but you can see the color. I've got a cat here complaining about something. Anyway. That's the one from Kmart. I can't remember the price on that one. I'd like to say a little over two euros, not sure. The um, Kmart one is 375 grams. Same for the cocoa pillows from. S market rainbow. Little gives you 750 grams. They are the best price per kilo per weight. As usual. The uh, S market ones have much more yellow look to them. I didn't see any other ones at like K-Market, so I guess that's just what they sell. I have just different, different types. I expect it to uh, play worse. And then we have the cereal from... I've done this a few times, and I always kind of sometimes surprise myself. Usually I expect the little ones to be the best, but, you know. With my own bias. Sometimes the other one surprised me. So the uh, S Market ones, they look a bit more rugged, let's say, and the little ones look a bit more homogenous. Um, got a cat here that wants to get my attention. Okay. Like, I'm thinking here that the tastiest ones are probably going to be the S market ones, but let's give this a try. Not bad. Chocolatey. Got a good crunch to them. They're fine. Give this one a taste. Hmm. I have to say that this one. What I'm going to say, it's like a more, like a darker, deeper chocolate. This one, you can taste more of the cereal that surrounds it. Okay. And, uh, of course, the little one. I'll try one more time. That one's quite good. It's like the chocolate in there... Tastes like, uh, um, tastes like chocolate. I mean, there's something 
What about the S Market one, that? I don't know, the quality of chocolate, maybe it has too much. Well, it doesn't actually have, I don't think it has milk in it, so it's a bit weird. This one tastes like eating chocolate from a chocolate bar encased in cereal. But, surprisingly enough, I think the K-Market one is to my preference. Tastes the best to me. But, now we need to try them with a little bit of milk. So, let's do that. Get more milk from the fridge. Gonna pour a little milk out for this one, a little milk out for this one, and a little milk out for this one. And then, immediately we're going to have a quick little taste of that. Not bad. Give this one a taste. Hmm. And we'll try this one out again. Cool. I gotta say, with milk, I think the S Market one tastes a bit better. I think it's because it had all those crevices and that rough look to it. Probably takes on milk faster and more milk flavor. And then the other ones are fine, but but I think with milk, this one tastes better. The S Market Cocoa Pillows. So. What we're going to do now is wait a good, maybe 5-10 minutes and uh, see how they soak up the milk, how they taste when they're a little soggy. I know some people like soggy cereal, some people don't. So we will do that. Okay, we're back. Uh, about 6 minutes, past 7 minutes. Give these a try. Soggy cereal. So this one is keeping its crunch a bit better. I'm eating the ones that are completely soaked. Mm. Huh? Let's try these ones. They're a bit soccer, which makes sense. I mean, they were the more porous ones. And even soggy. So if you like the cereal, if you like the cereal crispy, you go with that one. The other two get quite soggy. They're not bad, but they get a bit soggy. So, the winner is in this case, in terms of flavor, I think, Kmart gave quite a surprise for me, the Birka brand. Um, as for the rest, hmm, you know, the S Market brand tastes pretty good with milk, and 
You can't beat Little. For the price. It's uh, roughly half the price as of the other two, and I'd say it's almost about as good. Um, you know, if I was buying these again, I'd probably buy the little one because, I mean, it is a huge price difference. But if money's no object, I'd say try out the ones from Butica. I think those ones, in my opinion, actually turned out to be the best this time around. Um, but not, not huge differences like we've found in the past, you know, when we did the pizza, when we did the croissants, when we did... I think especially the noodles, there were huge differences among the three. You can check those videos out. So, you know, this is an easy video. This is a simple video. Just I me mean, tasting out food. I learned something. Maybe you learned something. Maybe you're bored to death. Doesn't matter. Anyway, this is the content you get. This is the content I made. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, well, it's your own fault for sticking around so so long. Um, yeah, that's about all. I might have mentioned on one of my other channels that yeah I'm not I'm not really doing this video stuff anymore. Maybe you'll see something like this pop up every once in a while, but it is what it is. Enjoy your day. Bye bye.